Carlin from Load King. The trailer we're looking at today currently is the uh, 45 and a half foot uh, triple axle trailer. It's featured with 82 inch sidewalls. It is available with an 84 inch sidewall uh, configuration as well. It is a two hopper configuration, no rear hopper to dump from. Yeah, the triple axle trailer that we offer in the 50 foot lengths comes in only one wall height with an 84 inch wall height. So let's have a look. It's a double wall trailer with the outer skin being what we see here today. The construction of this trailer is comprised with the outer skin, which is the white 063 skin we're looking at, fastened to uh, some Z posts that create the space in the wall and a liner wall on the inside that keeps everything flowing into the hoppers. Something we want to show you at the front of the trailer that's uh, standard on the single trailer, recessed or the drop down on our cupper plate. Primary reason for that really is to give you a little additional clearance. You got to envision your truck fender right here. Uh, so that'll give you two more, two more inches above the, the fender on your tractor. Should you go through any uh, uneven ground, uh, it'll just prevent that scrubbing on your fender a little better than if it were a flush mounted cupper plate. It's available on Super Bs and on the uh, triple axle trailers. So these skins are attached to an aluminum rail. We'll refer to it as, as a two piece rail and the upper section is attached to the top rail obviously and that's what creates the, the entire wall which also acts as the frame of the trailer and that frame is attached to the front cupper and the rear suspension frame. This particular unit is equipped with just the aluminum radius um, corner post which is the same corner post in the front and, and the back of the trailer. You can option up to a stainless post. In the Distinction Series, we offer two different wall colors. As you see behind me today, we have the, the white option shown. We do also have a black sidewall color option as well. No additional charge for the black panel as well. The lower rail, as mentioned, is a two-piece rail, and you can see the construction of this rail. The joint in the uh, wall does create the, the nice trough in, inside for all of our electrical, all of our airlines can run inside. So nothing's exposed to the elements. And, uh, it prolongs the life of the uh, electrical and air parts of the uh, harnesses in this trailer. The uh, steel coupler frame is fastened to the aluminum side rail. We do use a, a barrier tape to protect against any corrosion that could happen with the two dissimilar metals being contacted. We do fasten the coupler area at all parts of this trailer with a 3 8 inch hook fastener through the entire belt line of this trailer. So if you look along this trailer, there's only one size of huck bolt used and there are 3 8 A little meatier huck bolt that some may use, but it's uh, really stiffens this trailer up and gives it a great look loaded or uh, or empty it's it's a, it's a great looking trailer here we'll just have a quick look underneath not too much to see because we've got this great closeout sheet that we've used uh, it's a three-piece design and it uh, basically closes the entire cupper section to uh, keep all that snow gravel whatever's on the road and from blowing up in there number one adding weight to your trailer making it more difficult to wash this is a nice clean finish to to wash out and, and maintain. Uh, there is still an access point into there should you need to go in for any reason whatsoever. All of our uh, electrical connections are, are made without a junction box, so there's very little reason to actually go inside here, but you are able to check things out inside with that manhole cover as well. Directly behind the closeout sheets, notice the four in a row flap. That is an option on this trailer, and it's, it's a heavy belting option, four piece belting. Uh, just to protect the landing gear and all the components that are in behind it, the, the hoppers, etc., to uh, just protect against any of that stone and debris from the roads. The two-piece rail that we've talked about also has been vented in the lower section of the rail, so every, every uh, section between the, the Z posts that we have here are vented as well. It also allows any condensation or moisture that's in between the two walls to escape and uh, keep that area dry. As we have a look at the wall here, you'll notice four foot sections of wall panel that we use. The advantage of some of that is the fact that uh, should you damage one section, it's repairable, replaceable. You don't have to repair the skin on the entire trailer or put a patch in. It'll, it can be made to look just like it does rolling off the line. Another important feature to note on the wall is the eight inch spacing in the non-load area, and I'll explain why we do that. You'll see in the loaded area, we run a 12 inch spacing. Uh, basically, this 
narrow spacing here it gives some extra support in the non-load area of the trailer so when the trailer is fully loaded this this will remain as flat as as the loaded area as well standard landing gear on the distinction trailer is this yoast aluminum landing gear 10-year warranty on this leg it's a five-year maintenance free leg as well uh, it's a two-speed two-speed option is included here for the high and low something to note all the bracing that we have on this trailer is all constructed of aluminum bolted to the leg so there's no welding there's no need to paint the leg the inner leg comes to us painted from the factory so directly behind the landing gear you'll you'll see the the crank to use on the landing gear as well it's, it's double function is to both use on the landing gear as well as open and close the hoppers as well You'll notice the angle of the chute shafts as well, angled towards the inside of the trailer to give you a little more access. When you've got an auger or conveyor set up under here, you can open and close this without interfering with anything that's being used to un unload this trailer. The purpose of the 1624 gate is to, uh, when you're loading onto a conveyor, it's a long, narrow gate. As you open it up, the flow will will remain within the hopper of the conveyor to avoid any spillage outside of that area. It also opens up to a 24 opening to still allow for a quick removal of, of the load that's inside of it. For the 45 foot 3 hopper or the 50 foot, the, uh, the clearance is uh, roughly 22 and a half inches to the bottom of the uh, hopper, so you still got lots of space to get that conveyor underneath to, uh, to get that load unloaded out of the trailer. The chute door, you'll notice, will move completely past the opening inside the hopper so there's no hang up of any material or uh, interruption in your flow. It also allows you to completely clean out that hopper without any residue left inside or on the gate. You're able to uh, roll the gate right past, pull the stopper out, you can remove the gate completely should you want additional cleaning as well. Something you'll notice on the upper stiffener band here as well is the LED lighting. We have two, one for each hopper, shining back onto the load while you're unloading so you have a better uh, view of, of what's going on in the dark. And th those are optional features, by the way. Part of that package is also the inner two lights in the hopper. So you do have the unload light as well as the loading light when you order that option as well. In front of the landing gear, we also do have a small belt in front of the second uh, chute opener as well. The flap protects against any debris that could come on top of the, uh, the chute itself. Directly behind the chute opener you'll also see the, the big uh, rubber belt that keeps all the debris from blowing up into the brake chambers and into the rear suspension areas as well. Just some great additional protection. You notice right behind the, uh, the second hopper ahead of the front axle we have the, the air gauge box. Again note the window you don't there's no need to open up to see where your pressures are there's a light inside that comes on as soon as your main lights are on so there's always a vision but should you need to get inside you do have the light switches for uh, the load and unload as well as your pressure gauge your dump valve is in here another option that's not on this trailer but you can put an air chuck in here as well should you want to have uh, an air source to to use on this trailer Again, an all-weather seal, everything's sealed up when you've got things closed up to keep the moisture and stuff from getting into this box. There's several different fender options available on the 45s, the triple axle and tandem. There's the half round stainless fender that you see on this trailer here today. We do also have a uh, flat fender option available as well as the third option when you've got everything closed up here you can just put a small quarter fender in just over in here just protects that the uh, hoppers from getting debris blown onto them and, and also against the air gauge box so that's the other option that is available on the uh, straight trailers that you see here today the two wheel options that are available are the alcoa 22.5 or 24.5 aluminum wheels uh, we, we outfit them with either a BF Goodrich tire, Michelin tire, which is our two standard 
tires of choice. There's several different models that are available in, in both those brands. Your sales rep will be able to discuss what model will fit best with your application. We talk about the uh, Hendrickson Tire Max Pro, which is an inflate deflate system available as, as well on this trailer. A second option that is available, in addition to the drum brake, we do also offer the Hendrickson Max 22T disc brake package. It's an available option and we have a couple of different spindle wheel end options. You can go to an end spindle, which is our standard or a parallel spindle, should you choose to uh, run, let's say, a super single tire on it where you, you do need that P-spindle for the uh, offset wheel that we offer as well. All of the wheel end packages that you see on our trailers are generally, or most of them are outfitted by us at Load King. So we have a national seal that we use. We use a Pro Torque nut and you have two two wheel end options that are available the first with a one-year warranty is an oil filled wheel end 8090 gear lube inside of there and the second with a two-year warranty from us at load king is the uh, same same package with the national seal and pro torque nut but we do put a uh, semi-synthetic chevron dello grease inside of it so you choose that option you get an extra year's warranty with it from us at Load King. On the straight trailers, we offer four different lighting packages. The base model lighting is what's required by law to have, which is really consists of having one light in the back, I mean, one in the center, one at the front of the lower rail. There's no lights required on the top. On this unit, we have what we call the option B package that you see here today, and that'll give you five lights down the lower rail and five on the top. And if you look at the back, which is really lit up, you've got four up the sides. You've got the standard five across on the top, but the difference in that option is the fact that we, we get the corners to signal as an added safety feature. Should this area get built up with snow and debris, the tops will stay cleaner longer. So you have another safety feature built in where you have a high mount signal and brake light center three are acting as brakes as well. In those two packages, B and C, we also do offer the lower additional three lights here, which also act as a brake, like giving you more visibility when you're on the road and, and making that, that trailer safer to work with. The rear lights here, the four inch light is, is a Grauman mounted light. Optional feature, you can add stainless steel rings should you want a little extra bling in that trailer uh, to match those stainless corner posts that are optional as well. So today you'll see the, the large truck light lights that we uh, offer as our standard package. We do have the uh, model 33 penny light option available as well. So basically everything that you see here and the large light would be offered in the, in the small penny light should you want to have something that's a little more uh, flush mounted. And also some of the advantages in that light is that it's just easier to clean you can go straight over a light here. The walls are smoother. Not quite as bright as this. This is the top end light package again, like I said, and very visible and makes it safe to use on the road. Fastened to the steel suspension frame are these large, two large tow hooks. These, these hooks allow for uh, access should you need to uh, help the tractor along pulling the trailer out should it, should it become stuck somewhere in the field. Change that we made for the uh, 2019 production, this, it was a running change. We, we made a ladder improvement rather than stepping on one small step here, stepping up in here. We built a uh, two-piece ladder with a fold, gives you a nice low entry point, clipped away, out of the way should you not require it. When you need to use it, it's just a quick fold down comes down with within a foot of the ground, nice low access point, uh, nice wide grab handles as well. You can crawl up the ladder. As you get to the top, you've got a large grab handle. There's two of them here, one on either side. You've got a nice wide catwalk in here. We've got steps going down into the hopper, gets you down right to the bottom and you can crawl over your divider wall and get into your front hopper from the back point as well. When you're done, you stow it away light just like this one in this trailer today that you that we're featuring has the manual tarp. So you'll see the long shaft to uh, open and close the uh, tarp. If you uh, choose to order the uh, power tarp option, the uh, motor will stay on the front side of it. 
and uh, you were able to remove the rear crank and stow it away in your closed out sheet to the front of the trailer. The tarp and the openers are supplied to us by Michael's industry as well as the chute opener should you choose to have a power chute opening as well. Again, all that stuff works on one remote. You'll have the option of having a manual switch at the front of the trailer to operate your tarp as well as switches on either side to operate your chute openers as well should you choose to order that option. Something unique to uh, to the Distinction Series trailers, we angle all of our lead and pull walls as well. And part of the reason you'll just have a look here, it's a nice slope, gentle slope in here as well. Not only does it look great, it serves another purpose uh, when you're crawling up the ladder, it's just so much easier to you know, stand on a ladder on a slope wall. There's, there's not this straight up feeling that you've got when you go up a straight wall. Great looks and it also works well with the ladders when you're crawling up and down the trailers. Again, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, joining us today as we did the walk around on the triple axle trailer. Should you need more information, visit our website loadking.com. We've got our dealer locator. If you're not certain where your closest dealer is, have a look on the map or ask for more information from both the dealer and us at Loading, and we'd be happy to send that to you. It's Arlen from Loading.